So I wanted to start, so I'm part of Team BV, which is uh, AI help agent, um, which is part of an open source project called Venterbox DS. And the goal as we can was to see if these large language models could run locally on a laptop and, and help with supporting the toolkit. Uh, and we left the, the, the story um, nomic crunching away with a local help file. <laughs> And it came back with with this, um, you know, how to add a, uh, you know, a file to Bentobox. And the first sentence is generally broad, could apply to anything. But what was encouraging, it actually did point to the context file, uh, and then you'd open it and you'd get the answer. So I think the lesson there would be that I would need to break that into like twenty files, and you know, there's a file just for file upload, and then it could go in and parse it and take. The relevant things. I was encouraged that it brought back the file because that was the whole point of, of the system. And, and then I wanted to do that program, you know, pro, like from a program API point of view. So I asked a slightly different question here. You know, how did how do I get started? You know, the more generic question. And I think this sums up the potential and and the downside. So it started off with again some seems like very sensible one two three uh, practical information, but um, Bento Box is a type of uh, uh, Asian um, uh, Tupperware plastic boxes for containing food, <laughs> and for some reason, it's decided halfway through the instructions that I'm, it's talking about one of those. And so, uh, yeah, lots of work to do. But let me just go back to the beginning and give an overview of the journey we've been on this weekend. Uh, So as I said, maybe this help agent is part of the, the uh, open source project. So we want to ask uh, through a chat interface, you know, how can I upload my wearables? And in a perfect world, it comes and sure, you can um, upload an exported file um, and it would suggest some brands. And then you say, yes, I do have a file and, 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 and then you'd upload it. Um, so that's what you would do as a human, and or as we've seen in the other groups, you would you know use the computer engineering logic to uh, you know cater for the the use cases that you envisage. Um, but with a large language model, the world sort of becomes a bit different, and you need to take that language query and split it into different parts. And so we spoke about you can use this thing called LangChain, which allows you to manage many agents that do work in parallel. Um, so I started work on that, um, but then you're hitting this uh, like very steep learning curve in terms of the documentation basically evaporated. So what I was trying to do in the last hour or so is just connect to a local file through the command line, and there's just no documentation. So I'd have to you know, look into the source code to see how they did it for their own app, and that was like quite hard to navigate, so I didn't achieve it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give some, some learnings. I hadn't had the time to sit down to play with these technologies. So yes, it is possible, um, but it starts with a very large download of a three gigabit file, which won't be practical to be in the, in the end product. Uh, the the, the uh, live screenshot I showed, well, the screenshot I showed you of the help instructions, that probably took five minutes to render. Um, so that's not practical and slow. Um, extra effort is well to, come to, to give the context and in terms of splitting the query and providing links to specific files that would give better answers. Um, so the end question I'm posing to myself and maybe to the, 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 the room too is, is it all worth it? Um, I think it is all going to be worth it someday. I think to be practical in the next year, we might get a 10x improvement. Um, but if you want to use it in the short run, you're going to have to rely on these big, um, you know, services in the cloud and you know, free ride on their um, GPU processing fee, even if that costs you, a, you know, a, a fee. But I do think um, I have been a skeptic of all these models. Um, you know, even six months ago when this stuff started to take off. I now have to contemplate that a chat agent within two to three years, we'll be able to do every project that I've seen today within a couple of minutes. 
And I think that is worth persevering to, to get a democratic, decentralized, local first, so everybody has the potential to use these tools rather than all just being a slave to these uh, data uh, chat agents in the cloud. And I've just uh, finished with some of the uh, technologies and documentation I've used during the weekend. And with that, I thank you. Over to you, Bruce. Okay, thank you. And I guess the question is, is well, you did seem to answer it actually at the end there, is that, that you did achieve what you set out to achieve and so far as can, can it be done by one person to run locally and then the answer does seem to be yes, it, but it's slow, but yeah. yeah. But that, that's the purpose of these types of events anyways, is to prototype something and find out, or to provide you an, the time and space to, to explore that. Yeah, that's right. So what, so, I, do I think, what do I think is achievable with if I, this lang chain is basically what what that broader app was built with, and so I would have to actually make the commitment to say, I want Wikipedia and I want you know twenty help files from BentoBox and then maybe some generic help stuff about how you to use mm -hmm. a, a software program, and that might might compile to uh, you know a data set of I don't know thirty meg uh, three hundred gig or no, sorry three hundred megabits. Uh, compressed and then I do a training model on that and that might be light enough and responsive enough to do the basic charting and uh, uh, that's required um, but again I, I'm new to that but I think exactly. I get, I've got enough encouragement that that's possible yeah and 300 megabytes would run on your phone as well actually once you've compressed it down to that size yeah, yeah. so yeah so at some point if you could write up the the basic readme on the repository to add the final bits, that'd be great. Well, Who has questions for James? Any more comments or questions? Nope, okay, thank you.